So obviously in this game you can make pals very very strong, and you can make humans also very very strong. But so that's whenever the idea hit me. I want to know if I can make myself stronger than any of the other pals. Obviously with all the pals special abilities, they can do some pretty good damage. So the question, can I be stronger? So now let's go find out the answer. This creepy little blue thing has the partner skill that while he's in my team, my attack power gets increased. My attack power is currently 120, put one freak in my team, it goes up to 132, but that's just at level 1. We could catch a whole bunch of these guys and pretty easily get that partner skill level up. This is going to be expensive though with how many I need. Let me maybe not waste my legendary balls. If a ball's good, I don't want to waste it. I'd rather just use a worse one. Not all balls were created equal. Which is, whoa, what was that cool slide? It has got moves. I think Hypersphere should do the trick. They just use normal, regular ingots. So let's just cook up like 700 more regular ingots anyways. And come check the Palladium Wheel. How's it going, buddy? You're stuck transporting in infinite loops? Take it up with the devs, not me. So make a bunch more rockets. That'll be needed. All right, how many Hypersphere's can we make? 252, that should be a good amount. Actually, cancel this, nope. cancel, cancel the order, cancel the order. Uh, I'm, I'm doomed. I can't cancel it. Last time I tried the Scatter Sphere Launcher, it worked uh, horribly. People have told me that the Homing Sphere Launcher is supposed to be pretty good, though. Oh, he already cooked the ink. It's, it's just so good. Also, I've just got too many stones on me. I'm just going to mass spam crushers. Water this forever, please. I'll just need to get the iron for this Sphere Launcher the good old-fashioned way. Oh, I have not missed this. Kind of like an old-timey knight trying to vent his frustrations right now. Why doesn't the princess love me? 720 ore? That should probably be enough, right? Oh, yeah. That's plenty. Crockpot? Where? Uh, you got it, buddy. Give it the old bleh. Yep, there you go. Puking right into it. Perfect. And it looks like our hypersphere's have finished over here. Now, if this is all about taking my attack up to the highest level, starting at 120, we can make it 138 with an attack pendant plus two. However, I've got a second attack pendant plus two, making it 156. 156 seems pretty good, but even if you just put in base four god fins, you could get it to 203. Again, those are level one. However, the fun in killing someone is looking at all the numbers. And Vanguard is a nice 10% increase to player attack. So I ask, what if our gob fins had Vanguard on them? Well, then I'd do even more damage now, wouldn't I? <laughs> you know, killing stuff. It's like kind of what I do. I even made a sticker out of it. All right, 210 power metal ingots created. Jump over there to deposit them. And now let's try out the homing sphere launcher. If I get disappointed by this, I'm going to lash out really, really bad. Gimme. Target acquired. Whoa, what? I see it does like a little float and just goes. This is actually pretty neat. I can't lie. Get him. Beat him up. Body him. Does it work on stuff that's like slightly out of range? Almost. What if I don't ADS it? Where'd that just go? Fire. Up. Down. Does it just go to the nearest one? But like if I just did that, what would happen? Oh, they all go into the dirt. Oh, uh, okay. They're flying off like a flock of birds. Why is the capture rate 20% too? Is it not higher when I just normally throw? Oh, I guess it is 30. Huh. I really thought these hyperspheres would work a little better. <laughs> it doesn't change the fact that this thing's pretty fun though. Everyone's coming with me. Get assaulted. Huh? All right. We just got to do this for a while. Luckily, there's like no shortage of god fans anywhere. Come on. Everyone wants to stay in the sphere because I'm super cool and you all love me and want to be my new friends forever. You'll play games with me and you You'll make sure that my outfits look cool. You won't push me over when I'm not looking and then laugh. Sorry, went back to a dark time in my life. Back to catching these little sharks. Is it? No way. Shiny, shiny gobfin. Homing sphere launcher. Go, that's my rocket launcher. Oops. A few moments later. Homing sphere launcher, go. Yay. <laughs> Guys, that one's shiny, right? Nope. It kind of bothers me that there's not like sound <laughs> for the spear launcher. It just kind of float out creepily. If you shoot two at one, it just kind of hovers for a while. That's scary. What are you doing? Stop that. Fire, 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 fire. All right, I'll admit it. This thing's pretty cool. Way better than that stupid scatter spear launcher. Bro isn't attacking. He's just doing the bleh face at me. Dodge, dodged, dodge, bleh. Yeah, I can do that too, but bleh, speared. Oh crap, wait, bleh, speared. <laughs> Quick break back to base. I've caught a decent amount of them, it looks like. Surely one of you has Vanguard on it. Surely one of you has Vanguard on it. Nope, okay, this is... Wow, like a statistical improbability is occurring right now, actually. Really, 
Not a single one had it. When I see Lady Luck, we're gonna have to have a few words. Now, I've got a lot of comments requesting one specific pal. And you know, she works out for what I'm trying to do extremely well. When fighting together, grants the player a lifesteal effect. Ophedrin, get in there, along with Mr. Granada. Apparently these two will make that design choice questionable at best type pal. Alright, Crockpot, make me 20 cakes when you get the chance. I need to go try and catch some more of these stupid spiky penguins and hope they got the trait that I need. I feel like there's a bug with the homing sphere launcher where like it doesn't have my proper catch rate chance. I feel like when I throw the spheres manually, they stay in longer. Well, okay, it's obviously is a bad example, but what is science without a hypothesis? Oh, my box is full of gobfins currently. Whoops. Well, let's go see if we got lucky then. Oh, thank God, at least one with Vanguard. And I feel like this wouldn't be a Power World video if I didn't do some major breeding. The only stats I need for player base wise are Vanguard and Stronghold Strategist. So let's throw like five cakes in there. Surely you two will combine to make what I need, right? One can only hope. Ooh, and now it seems like I need a lot of cement for more balls. How much of that can I create? Oh, it just takes stone, bone, and pal fluids? There you go. Make a crap ton. And let me talk to the black marketeer as I need to sell some pals. There's like 40 pals on this list. That should clear up some space. And also earn me a decent little chunk of my coin. Alright, now let's check on my five damp eggs. I need to see Vanguard Stronghold Strategist. That's just one stat I needed and three that came out of nowhere. Let's try that again. Not missing the Vanguard part of this. You literally both have one stat each. How are we not combining them? What's occurring right here? That You know what? That's fine. I don't care that I have Sirius. <laughs> At least I got one good gobfin. And you know what? That one works too. And now to try and find them in this mess. Ah, there's one and there's two. You guys are already perfect in my eyes. Eat your friends. Huh? I think I can get both of these two to be three stars, but I'm still gonna need at least like 180 more gobfins. Why? Because I like to make things difficult and I hate myself apparently. I am able to hatch some love anders though. Just see if I can get something good. Something geared towards killing something would be nice. Ferocious lucky legend. That might work. Hey, Sir Fan, you're not helping, buddy. All right, I'll see you later. Oh, ferocious lucky musclehead legend. That's as good as any. Hello, Hello my new best friend. Oh, cool. And I got a bunch of some Meant. Just start eating it. Bruh. Sorry, it's the intrusive thoughts. Ah, screw it. I've got a bunch of refined iron. I'll just make 126 ultra spheres. I don't like to use them because their like cost to performance ratio is just absolutely atrocious. But with how strong my pals have been leveled up, I'm okay to do a gross display of wealth every once in a while. Oh, I see Lady Hans got here, and then the production increased by about 900 percent. Yeah, that's looking good. And can I buy bones from this guy? Buddy, sell him bones in here. Yeah, you are. Give me 118 of them. I've got everyone working on more rocket ammo. Might as well get everybody working on more cement. Still gonna need more balls after all. 420. Nice. Hey, thanks for the destructive rocket ammo. Appreciate you. See, the ultra spheres have a near 100% capture rate. That's pretty good. Makes this part of the process a little bit easier. Wait, where are they going? They went through the earth? I was just trying to throw it at these guys. Oh, hang on. Maybe I shouldn't forget to go pick up the ones that are just stuck eternally in the sand. Come with me, friends. I'll show you the way. And I don't really keep track of how many of these guys I catch. I just kind of do it until my brain goes, hmm, that's probably enough, man. And uh, we've reached that point. So also got 46 flour for my wheel. I really need to make like Crock-Pot's variant, but for watering. Everything I go to water just takes so long. Crock-Pot and Power Washer, <laughs> my two twin Jormantides. Maybe we'll make that one a membership video. All right, here's some cake, get to it. Oh, you already had an egg, sweet. What a nice world it'd be if this one damp egg had my Vanguard Stronghold Strategist on it and I didn't have to do anything. I'm not gonna be able to see it, whoops. You, oh, that one I got the exact thing that I needed on it. All right. Gobfins acquired. I do, however, need to come into this tech tree and make a Giga Glider. I don't have Gale Claw for what I'm about to do. Maybe I actually should, though, still for a second, realizing that I'm not quite done. <laughs> but all right, my base attack is 144 with one level one Gobfin in my party. After getting it to level two, my attack is up to 144. Okay. I had to dump it out of my party and put it back in, but now the attack's going up, up to 147 at two stars, then at three stars, up to 151, until finally four star Gobfin, now with level five attack power increase. Puts me up to 156. What is that, a 36 
in boost, and I'm up to 218 with my other two. Ooh, still need to be condensed, but I need 94 more pals. Told you we weren't done quite yet. Also, I might need to go kill some deer. Eat to increase attack by 20% for a period of time. I can also eat things. Ah, beginner plateau. Home to lamb balls, chickens, all level one. Feels like just yesterday I started my journey here to become the best power world master of all time. I had enough reminiscing. Where the hell are the purple deer? Yo, eek the deer. There you are. I need your meat. Huh? Well done. Well, six juicy slabs of meat acquired, along with 140 more balls. Bruh. Things are looking up. Make some of this, please. All right, we got 165 ultra spheres and a lot of blue toddlers at perfect kicking height. We should be able to get these other two to four stars, no problem. I think the math is something like when I get down to 60 ultra spheres, that's when I've caught enough. So for now, I'm just going to act like a high school baseballer and keep throwing till my shoulder breaks. Look, guys, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Either die now or you die later. <laughs> Pick one and just come with me. Catch this nice little last group. And we're down to 52, so I think we're good. Ooh, treasure chest. Something good? Pelt armor schematic one. Wow, that's like the best armor in the game. Thanks. God, these chests suck. All right, sort you by pal deck number, and I've got 136 in the bank, which if you're curious on the math breakdown, 64 plus 64 is at least like 105. <laughs> Basically what I'm trying to say is we're good. What's that get our attack up to? 228. Put on both these attack pendants and we can reach 264. But then if I eat this deer meat, we go up to 316 attack. <laughs> Gosh. All right, Misty Lovander, just come out, but don't attack. I want to see how much damage I do right now. This is what, three, four hundred-ish, and they're just permanently stun locked. Cool. That guy died before it even had a chance. Let's go try that out on a bit of a healthier boss this time. Coming out, don't attack, 4,200 HP. No, 325, 500. Just absolutely draining her health bar right now. <laughs> this is so good. Ow, no, wait, don't hit me away. Die, no, die, there we go. Dude, this rocks. There's still one more test that I wanna get done. Obviously my sword has an attack power of 525, Um, but this is 13,000. Let's see if we can bully the ice horse. Hi there, 14,000 health. That's a pretty normal amount. Uh, Lose some of it. That's Oh my god! Like 3,000 gone. Why did I miss that rocket somehow? Oh, Lovander ate that attack for me. Thank you. I knew we had a bond that words could not describe. Can I? Oh, Lovander, come out for a sec. Just kidding. Again. Oh my god. Nah, hang on. I'll be right back. Let me get out of this. Get out of this. Lovander, come out. I need to lifesteal some. Roll in. Roll in. Roll in. It's like fighting a Dark Souls boss. Come here. <laughs> come here. Come. Come. Stop it. Here we go. It's like. <laughs> It's like I'm fighting a Lionel right now. Give me this HP back. Get- No! Lovander died! That's fine. I just beat this Frost Iden within an inch of its life. Might as well try and catch you, I guess. One jiggle, two jiggles, new pal acquired. But at what cost? And all right, I think I've accomplished one of the more fun Power World builds you can do. If you have any suggestions for the next one, let me know in the comments down below. Until then, as always, thanks so much for watching. I'll see ya.